Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. This week's meals are sponsored by ramen noodles. <laughs> Actually, no, they're not sponsored, but uh, this week we're having struggle meals because we've paid all of our bills. So food is scarce. There's going to be times where I've struggled with my financial situation, but while I have struggled, I've researched and learned some ways to better my stability when it comes to my finances. To avoid financial struggle, there are some things that have helped me with my finances. And one of those things has been cash stuffing, where I label a bunch of envelopes and I put money in them. I basically have been doing this to kind of organize myself with my bills and things that I have to pay off. And it's helped me so much over the years. This is fake money, by the way. <laughs> Don't come for me. Other things involve going to free parks to entertain myself where I don't have to spend money. There are so many things in towns that you could definitely benefit from when you don't have a lot of money. And one of those things is finding a garden or an arboretum where you don't have to pay to park or don't have to pay to enter. And that has been such a good activity because I like taking walks and they're good for your health and your overall mental health. Acknowledging and assessing my situation when it comes to my financial health, I've evaluated my income, my expenses and the debts that I have. We all have debt, and if it's not school debt, it's anything from the car or loans that you take out when it comes to unexpected expenses. This is kind of a crucial step to understanding where you stand before making any financial changes. I've looked into budgeting too. I have a bunch of different budget journals or planners and that has helped a lot too when I write down things that I spend or when I have money that I make, I'll write it down and if I spend it on unexpected things, I will write that down as well. Overcoming financial hurdles has been a slow and steady process for me. I had to learn to be patient with myself and I had to stay committed to my goals and committed to what I had to pay off to be able to raise my credit or just stay on track when it came to my goals financially. There's also numbers of assistance programs as well, depending on what town you're in or state. Uh, the state actually helps with the light bill or helping with groceries if you're not able to meet your financial needs. You can reach out for help. There's no shame in that sometimes because we never know what might happen in the future, so we have to stay prepared. Sometimes coping with not having money can be a draining, challenging journey, but Taking some of these steps, you can definitely make these tough times a little bit easier and work towards a brighter financial future. I hope that this video has helped you a little bit 
just like it's helped me with my financial struggles sometimes. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!